Greetings guys, it is Stokecraft and we are back with another video on the channel, this time on the T-54 and we are playing on the map Sacred Field Lines and as we can see this beginning of a game is very very similar to a game I showed you around a month ago on the channel but this is going to be a different game guys, this is not the same replay that you're going to see today but if you're interested in seeing the other replay in which I discuss my favorite position in World of Tanks, which is next to this bunker, as you can see. I'm also pushing down this tree. If you want to check out that video, I'll put it up in the cards menu for you, so you can take a look at that. But this time, it's not the position that is the topic of this video. This time, it is going to be the game itself, and the game is going to be very special. Because, yeah, I, I, I should actually give you some background uh, information about this, really. So, I've been playing World of Tanks for, I don't even know, I think about... Uh, three and a half to four years maybe now and I've played around I think uh, 15 to 16,000 games I'm not sure wait I can see that now can I yes 15,000 games if I should believe what XVM says of course but in those 15,000 games I've accomplished a lot of things but the thing I did not accomplish legitimately is getting a Kolobanov's medal and I did never get a Pools medal either so and that's something that I was hunting for for a very very long time and uh, yeah, I got pretty close a few times, but we're going to see how this battle plays out. As you can see, my favorite position again. Just very short, why is this my favorite position? Well, you, you have some perfect shots from this position all around and to the town around you. And you've got this tree that you can push down next to the bunker, which makes you get a little bit more concealment. And that's nice, of course. For trying to put in some ambush shots just like this. I will not get spotted. But when I fire of course. I will get spotted. But in the other video that's up in the cards menu. I will go uh, into more some more detail. Uh, with regards to this position in World of Tanks. But for now as we can see. This game is playing out a lot differently. This time there are a lot of enemy tanks on the hill. And they have actually got a scout that is running through the middle here. A WZ-132. T-8 Chinese light tank. Have to watch out for that guy because yeah, I don't really want to get ambushed uh, and get spotted with uh, yeah with me not on guard so to say. So I do have to watch out for that. But as you can see, I'm just trying to get opportunistic shots at the moment. That's all I can do now, really. Oh my God! Look at that shot. <laughs> Around 600 damage with a fire on that. I think it was a. I don't. I can't even remember what it was. A T-34-1, yes, that's what it was. Oh my god, I'm so... Oh, I'm still a bit sleepy, guys. Forgive me for that. But yeah, well... Sorry that this game starts off a little bit passively. Because last time, on the other replay, we immediately engaged the Leopard in the middle of the, in the city. But this time, we don't have that luxury, unfortunately, of shooting up a Leopard in the beginning of the game. We're just going to take... Uh, you're just going to have to take some opportunistic shots, just like that one. Taking down a Tier 7 Tank Destroyer right there. Not very special for the T-54 because the T-54 has been, yeah, is capable of uh, dealing with some hotter fires, if you know what I mean, so to say. Speaking about hotter fires, here comes one, an FCM 50T. He, he misses luckily and of course I hit my shot on the move and I auto aim. And the, the light tank comes in as well. Yeah, these guys are pretty healthy, so we're going to have to watch out for these guys. Going to tie... I'm just trying to put my frontal armor towards that guy. And then I make a very big misplay. When I ran the WZ-132, I thought that I had uh, taken down my tracks. But what happened, only my tracks became yellow and I, re I repaired them with my repair pack. So my repair pack is pretty much gone for this game. But luckily we do get to take out two of the enemy tanks there. And can we get the third as well? Yep. Uh, of course, guys. <laughs> How to rack up kills in World of Tanks. Yeah, well, just to summarize there. Those guys just... Yeah, rushed me and my Yak Tiger. So what I did, I of course went to the Yak Tiger to help him defend him. Because if the Yak Tiger got flanked, then he would have been dead. Especially with uh, three enemy tanks engaging us. But actually, that rush by those three enemy tanks actually put us back into this game a little bit more. As we can see, the scores are very even at the moment. It's 9 to 10 for the enemy team. The enemy team have got three artillery still. We've got two. And now the T-54 goes ham as well. That guy's really healthy. More healthier than me. Of healthier than me, I should say. But, uh, of course, I can't just let my Yak Tiger die. But the artillery puts in a fantastic shot. And I can 
take down the T-54 there, and that's a Top Gun medal for me already. So, we've got the 5100 right there. He's on full health, and that guy is very, very dangerous, because he has got the clip potential to kill any of us when we had full health left. But as we can see, none of the team have got full health left, so that 5100 has probably got the potential to be able to take out at least four of us out of all the five that are left alive on my team including me of course i put in a shot into the t10 i've got heat loaded because the standard uh, penetration of the t54 is not as high as we all know so i put in a shot into the t10 with heat but now as we can see he's side scraping right there yeah that that will never penetrate if i uh yeah loaded in, the, in a heat shell let alone that wouldn't penetrate even with an apcr shell but still so I see the 5100 is peeking out there, he puts a shot onto the FCM and I decide, okay, I can take one shot, but I'm going to need to try and get this guy lower on health. Unfortunately, the bad gun depression of the T-54 and uh, my slow reactions mean that we don't get a shot into the FCM of the, uh, the Amex 5100 is what I meant to say. And of course, now artillery starts to join the fight as well. Luckily, our team manages to take down the T-10 that was side scraping on that, that bunker back there in the city. So all that's left for us to do now is to take down the artillery and that 15100. But he is of course still in full health. So what I decide to do, what artillery usually like to do a lot is of course sit behind this ridge right there. And that's exactly what I'm going to try and counter right now. I ask the FCM to come with me because if one of us gets shotgunned by one of the artillery, the other one can at least take down the artillery. And that's what I hope to do now. But I'm going to have to be very careful, of course. Of course, uh, you can see me load an HE shell in advance. So that I've got more chance to be able to one-shot the artillery. Because I don't really want them to return fire, really. And unfortunately, the 5100 manages to take down the Yak Tiger on our team. Luckily, the artillery puts in a very good shot, as we could see there as well. But it looks like, on this position here, the artillery have actually, yeah, relocated. So, I've got two choices now. Do I go after the artillery or do I go after the 5100? I can see the 5100 is rushing into the field now to try and go after our artillery. So I immediately react to that and I'm thinking, screw this, I'm going to have to take down the 5100 first. I also could have gone this way uh, to be able to take down the artillery because it was very likely that all the artillery uh, would have relocated towards here. But if I had done that, then of course I would have let the 5100 kill my artillery and... It would have taken so much time for me to kill the enemy artillery that the 5100 would have reloaded in time. So when I started engaging the 5100 after that, he would have been reloaded with a full clip to engage me. And that's something that I don't want to do. And also the 5100 has gone into the field as we can see right here. So that's a very big misplay in my opinion because he makes himself a very easy target. Especially if I sit on this ridge. That's why I went to this ridge as quickly as I could. So, I didn't realize at the moment that the 5100 had made the misplay of going into the field. I realized that now, and then, um, of course, I immediately turned back towards the ridge. So, the only thing I really have to do now is let the artillery spot the 5100. And I just have to sit on this ridge to be able to defend them. There's also one of the other enemy artillery. Can I put in a shot? Nice, there we go. Fortunately, we just, uh, yeah, load roll slightly. Would have been nice to high roll there. Also, the 5100 is in the open again, and we managed to put a shot on him. It's very important that we take down this guy right now. He is the most dangerous tank on the enemy team at the moment. So now we, we've taken him down, and there's only three enemy tanks on, on the enemy team left. And as you guys can see, I've got seven kills, and there is three enemy artillery left. So if I manage to kill all of the enemy tanks, I will be able to collect my first pools medal ever. But as you can hear on that siren right there, only one minute of the game is left. And as this is, yeah, an assault game as we can see, we're going to have to take down all the enemy tanks or to be able to cap to win this game. But as we can see, we don't have the time, not even by a long shot, to be able to cap out this game. So I'm going to have to take down the artillery as quickly as I can. So I'm just, I'm just going in right now. It's all or nothing pretty much right now. I take down one of the artillery, immediately load an HE shell to be able to engage the other artillery. They're all back here, of course. There's no doubt about it. Luckily, one of the G, uh, yeah, the M12 spots the GW Tiger P on the enemy team. We've got a shot. We're going to have to take it. We've got less than 15 seconds left to be able to win this game. So we have to. We are going to have to try and find that enemy 
artillery as quickly as we can where is he everyone where is he where is he oh my god and he manages to take down one of my spgs and that is the game what a pain in the ass, guys pools medal denied but besides we missed out on the pools medal we did get an amazing result this game as we can see an ace tanker and my second mark of excellence on the t54 which is very very nice also we did get a redley walters and a top gun and a high caliber medal as we can see i also did 6.8k damage this was just an amazing game although i didn't manage to get my first pools medal i can still kind of say that this was a very good result but not getting that pools medal just hurts a little bit normally you only see the very best of the best victories in world of tanks but this time i thought i'd switch it around and show you guys one of my worst heartbreaks ever probably and I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please leave a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video as usual. And subscribe if you haven't already. I wish you guys a very good weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye.